Kia ora koutou, ko Paul toko ingoa. I'm the Disability Rights Commissioner. It's really wonderful to make this very short video in celebration of International Day of Persons with Disabilities and celebrate this with you here in Aotearoa. This day was first promoted by the United Nations in 1992 and has been taken up around the world to encourage better visibility of the barriers and issues faced by disabled people. This year's theme is leadership and participation of disabled people towards an inclusive, accessible and sustainable COVID world. And that's really relevant here in Aotearoa as we transition to a new way of managing COVID and all that it means for our community. I want to acknowledge the huge leadership by so many people in making sure that the needs of our community are met as best as possible during this time. I acknowledge there have been a number of challenges and concerns around things like face covering exemptions, around support and issues around the carer's workforce. I know there are issues around how some of the vaccine rollout has gone for our community and I just want to acknowledge those challenges and the challenges that we will continue to have in this COVID environment that we're in. As a community we have continued to work together to remind government agencies that disabled people must be part of any decisions moving forward around COVID. Often organisations in our sector are already working so hard to advance the rights of disabled people that all of the advocacy and lobbying challenges around COVID have really added to that. So I just want to acknowledge that. There is also cause for cautious optimism. We recently saw the announcements around a new ministry for disabled people, the scaling up of Enabling Good Lives, and the proposals around accessible legislation. I welcomed these announcements as a potential platform for change for our community, but also signalled that transformation will rest on genuine, enduring partnerships with disabled people and tangata whaikaha. Without our leadership, which is the theme of today's International Day, these changes won't succeed. I also support the idea of having accessible legislation, but also I encourage you to be bold in thinking about what that accessibility legislation might look like and take the opportunity to demonstrate leadership when it gets to select committee next year and put your views forward as part of that process. Coming up as well, there are also huge opportunities to show our leadership in much of the reform around the broader health reforms, child well-being, the education reforms, and so much more. I look forward to continuing to work with you and again, just take this opportunity to celebrate our wonderful community here in Aotearoa today, the 3rd of December, our International Day. Nā mihi nui, kia koutou katoa.